All right, this is the other pin of the Threes Company partnership with uh, Austin and Mortensen, Michigan Ferret Hogs here. Uh, just had uh, three of the four of the six litters, uh, three barrows and one gilt in this particular offering. All these hogs are housed over here at uh, Platte Show Pigs for now. Uh, the rest of the groups will be at Austin and Breeze, but uh, uh, this particular uh, this particular litter got dropped off here, and uh, you're able to look at them here on the Boyd Road. So uh, they are sired by Top Shelf. Top Shelf, obviously, the uh, the board should not need an introduction. Very popular uh, Sloan bred hog. Uh, partnered up with True to bring him here, and, and predictable kind of pigs uh, that have some of the extras we all need, and we needed, and used him, and got along extremely well. Uh, as well as many others here, making some boars and, and winning kind of bears uh, here in his first real crop out. Uh, this would be the second crop of these particular sired hogs. Uh, we're going to start. Uh, the mother is actually a dirty, dirty, hairy Omaha. Goes back to that foundation grandma sow. We talk about the dirty loving sows. Be the grandma of that would be the uh, uh, the grandma of these. So uh, some predictability on that as well. Six dash three is where we're going to start here. With uh, sorry, six dash four is where we're going to start. Uh, this would be the calico uh, male pig. Uh, th this bear here is probably as suited as a June setting as anything we've had in the offering. He's a bigger kind of pig, a June, early July. He's got some meat. He's got some power working in him, good shape kind of a hog that has some extra bone, a uh, big-ended kind of a hog that's uh, still flexible and, and got enough hip and structure. I think, one, if you need a bigger one for that June, July setting, I think this one here could be the answer because he's not going to take much uh, management in terms of feed. Uh, he's going to have extras in terms of shape and dimension. Bigger hog in the offering still offers some quality, predictable kind of a pedigree. Uh, the 6 8 is lot 26. This is the gilt in the litter. This gilt here has been uh, pretty good from the start uh, that uh, Austin's uh, Austin said here. And, and another one, I think, uh, as we get into the starting of the gilts, this will be the first gilt in the offering, and then we get into the plat ones. Uh, she's going to be dual purpose. Market breeding, uh, I think she's she's kind of both ways on that one. Uh, very good about her hip and hind leg in terms of flexibility. She squared her hock and still offers some shape and dimension. Going to have that natural center body and flesh that's uh, uh, the it's going to be an easy keeping kind of a gilt. Uh, you know, June, July, get into a heavyweight August setting, market breeding. I think she's dual purpose on what she can do because she looks like the top shelves uh, uh, that sold early and, and look like that later on. And I think uh, she's one that's going to carry the shape, going to carry the muscle. She's still flexible and square out of her hind end. Got good angulation and set up in her shoulder. I think a very high quality kind of a gilt, predictable kind of a pedigree. Looks like one that can be re resold and have a lot of value there. And 6'8", lot 26, Three's Company.